In this video, I will show you how to connect to PostgreSQL database using PHP. So here I created a database called Web App, which contains the public schema. And inside this schema, I created the products table. So this table has these columns and you can see the data of this table. So let's make a right click, then view edit data, then all rows. And here we can see that we have these rows. So now I will show you how to read these rows using PHP. So first we need to enable the PHP extension for Postgres. Here I am using exam, so we can click on config. And then we need to open the php.ini file. So here let's select this option. So we can make a search and let's type pg. Let's press enter. So we need to enable this extension. So we need just to delete this semicolon. And also we need to enable this extension. So let's delete this semicolon. Let's save the file and let's close it. Now we need to restart the Apache server. So let's click on stop, then start again. Now let's create a new PHP file. So I already created this folder under the htdocs folder of exam. So let's create a new file and let's call it products.php. Then let's add the HTML template. In the body we can display the title of this page. We can write products from PostgreSQL database using the Postgres extension. Now let's add PHP code to connect to the database. So here we need to create a variable, we can call it connection and it is equal to pg underscore connect and between parentheses we need to provide a connection string. So here we have the host which is the local machine, so it is local host. We have the name of the database which is web app. Then here we have the username which is the default username and here the value is postgres. And then the password which is this value in my case. So in this video we will connect to Postgres using the Postgres extension. But it is also possible to connect to Postgres using ODBC. The advantage of ODBC is that it allows a PHP application to connect to any database system using the same source code. So we can connect to Postgres, to MySQL, to SQLite or to any other system without updating the PHP script. So to connect to a database using ODBC, we can use the ODBC drivers from Divart. They are available at this page and you can find this link in the description of the video. So the ODBC drivers from Divart are fast and widely used. And we can use them for free during 30 days. So we can see that Divart has a large number of ODBC drivers. And to download the ODBC driver for Postgres, for example, we can click on this download button. In this page, we can see that we have 65 ODBC drivers. So let's scroll down to find the driver for Postgres. So this is the driver for Postgres. Let's select it. So here we can see that the Divart ODBC driver for PostgreSQL database is a high performance connectivity tool. It uses a direct connection to increase the data transmission speed. So for more details how to connect to Postgres using PHP and ODBC, you can see the video link in the description. Now we need to verify if the connection is successful or not. So if connection is false, then we can display an error message and we can exit the execution of this file. Otherwise, we can read the products from the products table. So here we can create a new variable called result. It is equal to pg underscore query. This is the connection that we created just here. And this is the SQL query. So we will read all the columns from the product table. Now let's check if this statement has been executed correctly or not. So if result is false, then we can display this error message and we can exit the execution of this file. 
Otherwise, we can create an HTML table to display the data from the database. So here, let's create a table. And let's add the header row. So in this table, we have six columns, which are the product ID, the product name, the brand, the category, the price, and the date. So these columns correspond to the columns of the products table in the database. Then we need a while loop to display the rows from the database. So while we have a new row from the products table in the database, we will display the data of this row. We can read a row from the database using this statement pg underscore fetch underscore asoc. And between parentheses, we need to provide the result variable, which is this variable. Now let's display the data of this row into an HTML table row. So let's add echo. And here we can display an HTML table row that contains the data of this row. So here we will display the product ID, the name, the brand, the category, the price. Of course, we will add the price unit and then the created at. Now let's save this file. And to open this file in the browser, we need first the path of this file. So let's make a right click, then copy path. And let's paste the path just here. Then let's replace the first part of this path with localhost. Let's press enter. And here we have the data from the PostgreSQL database.